What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and welcome to an update on the Shiba Inu and the SHIB token. Uh, covered this two days ago, there I made some very false claims. I claimed that uh, perhaps Shibarium was coming out. Um, it was an early morning for me and I did not really have time to research, but obviously those are all just excuses. I was wrong about that. It was more like, I think the thing, thing that happened and um, that happened is that a new token was released, which is called TREAT. Um, but that's still not out yet, uh, which they have also confirmed. If you want to check that out, you should follow them on Twitter. Uh, but that is what happened. Another token for, uh, for, for the entire Shiba uh, ecosystem, um, which was, I mean, the announcement for that is obviously bullish. I mean, with, with good tokens like that, a countdown is always great. Uh, however, I, I'm not sure if treats for the ecosystem is going to be great. It's obviously more development, which is you could consider that as bullish, but still we don't know. Um, but yeah, the thing is, is that I was misinformed and uh, definitely when uh, I, I cover Shiba Inu quite a lot, but usually what I cover is just the technicals and I don't really talk about the fundamentals. So I am not that, uh, I don't have any exp expertise in the, uh, in, in the fundamentals of Shiba Inu. So sorry for that, but I did do my research a little bit more today. Um, fundamentals right now, you could argue, are still bullish because of that development and Shiba Inu is right now, I would say, even though Dogecoin is, is high, more highly uh, valued. I think Shiba Inu has, has the strongest ecosystem right now. Um, that is what we know. And then what happened is, is that obviously because after the announcement, people were expecting more, or at least it seems like that in uh, on, on social media. People don't want another token. That's at least uh, some of the quotes I read. Um, so what happens is that obviously Countdown was bullish, then it wasn't really what we expected. So we were bearish. And then yesterday uh, afternoon, which was this move, the entire market was also relatively bearish. I mean, the entire market was also dropping down and Shiba Inu is not immune to that. Um, so we dropped down and then today we actually started off very well. Also just a market movement, nothing really. I mean, Shiba Inu found support at that 800 level, which is all, always what I name the prices as. I mean, I'm not going to say 0 0.0008 cents. And uh, so 800 strong support level has held us up for um, for the last uh, week or so as a as a final support. Um, but um, but yeah, so started the day of good. So now the, the thing that that needs to happen is well, first of all, something needs to happen because right now, what you can clearly see is that even though you could still argue that Shiba Inu was was very nicely consolidating after the crash of FTX, we have uh, ever since this drop from Friday, which was also a market related drop, nothing to do with Shiba. We have been, um, we, ha we have plummeted in, in some sort of a downtrend. You can see that we, we ever since the fifth, but that's just w when I could draw the trend line. Uh, but ever since like the 13th, you can see that the EMAs are, are dropping while they were flat, first of all. And you can also see that we're making lower highs, right? Um, so we are in, in a downtrend and what we would ideally want to have is an uptrend, but that seems a little bit unrealistic. I think it's more likely that we'll get that we'll be back into some sort of a consolidation between like 925 and uh, and 850, and we want to get there. So what 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 has happened right now is that with the support touch off of 800, we have broken above 825. What we want to do right now is we want to take that break retest, which we are going to do. We want to get up to 860. We will find resistance there because it's a strong resistance level with the trend line and the, and the 50 EMA. But then we'll find support at 825 again, and we want to break above that. We need to break above that. If we can break above that, I think we can get up to uh, 800, uh, like to 900, 880, take a break retest, get some sort of an uptrend up to 920, 925, and then start our consolidation. All right, so that would be ideal. But the thing is, is that if we are not going to be able to, with this second touch, break above 860, What's going to happen is we're, we're going to break down to 800 again and i cannot guarantee whether from 800 we will be able to get that bullish breakout because it seems to me that if we drop down to 800 again it's more likely we'll drop down to 760 and 750. um so yeah i, I mean i mean i mean i must say i think it's more likely that something like this will happen but uh, we still really and shiba inu especially still really needs to uh, do some things for that so that's my take on shiba this morning if you do have any questions let me know down in the comments but for now uh, take care and bye.